My name is Sarah Jesse. I'm the Deputy Director of the Orange County Museum of Art. The project the museum is working on this year that we receive grant funding for are two different family days. What we want to do is to open the doors of the museum and make it really family friendly by offering hands-on art making, family friendly tours, and it's just an opportunity to explore the collections intergenerationally with your family members. We are now embedded within the Santa Ana community. And for a long time, we weren't. We were located since 1962 in Newport Beach. And just last year, we sold our old building and moved into an old furniture store. And we are gonna be there until fall of 2021 while we build a brand new building at the Sagerstrom Center for the Arts. And so while we're in Santa Ana, we have this huge opportunity to both grow and diversify our audience. And so family days are one way that we are trying to accomplish that. Santa Ana has a, has a wonderful reputation of being very culturally rich. There's a ton of artists who live in Santa Ana. There's a ton of cultural art institutions. There's a ton of diversity in culture. Um, but at the same time, reading the master art and culture plan that the city did, which we've really used as our guide as we're getting to know our community, in addition to just talking to people and good old fashioned, you know, face to face conversations. But we've really used that document to understand what are the barriers that prohibit people from feeling comfortable participating in the arts and especially a modern and contemporary art museum like ACMA. And some of those barriers that were cited in the plan, like uh, admission fees, um, inconvenient hours, programs that don't reflect cultural heritage, all of those are barriers that we've been able to eliminate in our new space. These um, obstacles that we have to, as an institution, actively acknowledge and actively work to overcome by being open and inclusive and as accessible as possible.